All right, welcome back to Technique Quad. I'm Doug Larson with the Barbell Shrug Podcast, and these are a bunch of our faction athletes. Hey. They're going to be here for the, for the demo portion of today's Technique Quad. Uh, today we're talking about car pushing. Uh, it's basically just like pushing the prowler, but a lot more people have vehicles uh, than prowlers. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about the technique behind it and kind of why you might want to use uh, car pushing in your program and maybe different intervals or different setups that you can um, develop workouts from. So um, technique number one, or point number one rather, this is just like pushing prowl, like I said, you wanna get as low as possible, arms locked out, and then you're just driving with your hips probably about the same level as your hands, elbows all, always locked out, and then you always have a driver in the driver's seat. Then you always have a driver in the driver's seat, they can steer and apply the brakes uh, if needed. So uh, my favorite way, ways rather to do car pushes is to do 100% full speed intervals for as long as you can tolerate. Maybe it takes you 30 seconds or, or a minute and then you basically just rest until you feel totally fine. Maybe three minutes to five minutes as your rest interval uh, and then you can do that maybe maybe five to ten times total. If you're going 100% full speed and you're really putting out then uh, that should be all you need uh, to get a really good workout just like doing airdyne sprints or pushing the prowler. 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 100% full speed uh, is, is plenty of work to get you uh, very tired and very fatigued and give you a good benefit from that. Um, with the car, I actually like to do it with a group of people, which I think is more fun. Uh, so the, there's a variety of ways we could do that. If we take a couple of guys, one way I like to do this is just pick a distance. Say we're going around this building right here. It's a big building, maybe it's 400 meters all the way around the building. We would just push the car for 10 second intervals where two people are pushing at the same time and every 10 seconds one person will filter out and then a new person will filter in and you just rotate every 10 seconds for, um, for the entire time you're pushing the vehicle all the way around the whole building. So uh, if we have one person kind of steering the car and hitting the brakes if necessary, no one's out here right now, this is a good spot for it, but someone or another vehicle could come and uh, get in our way so it's good to have someone to apply the brakes. So it looked like this, if we had you guys come over here and you guys can just kind of line up on this side so after 10 seconds, this guy's going to fall out, and this guy's going to scoot over, and then a new person's going to come in. And then, yeah, just go ahead and stand right there. And then after 10 more seconds, David will come out, she'll scoot over, and a new person will come in, and they're just going to rotate just like that every 10 seconds. So uh, we'll start with you guys. It'll look like this. Every time I say rotate, you guys are going to, you're going to go out, you're going to come over, and you're going to come in. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, so here we go. Ready? One, two, three, push. Push as hard as you can. There we go. All right, now rotate, and you come in, and you can go out. Ooh. And rotate. And rotate. There you go, rotate. There you go, rotate. All right, go and take a break. All right, brakes. All right, very nice. So. Ah, he's so tired. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so that's one way you can do it. Uh, with two people, it's pretty easy with a light vehicle. Uh, when I was growing up, we used to do this with a Suburban, and so it was uh, a little bit heavier than my, my small Passat. But that's, that's one way you can do it, is rotating many people through like that, and you can pick whatever distance you want. I'm going around these two buildings is about maybe a half mile. And so having five or six or more people is, is kind of nice for those longer distances. If you're all by yourself or maybe you have like three people, then you might want to do short intervals uh, with a longer rest break and then he can just apply the brakes until you guys are feeling better. You can go every minute on the minute. You can break up your intervals however you'd like, but um, it's great conditioning overall. Just remember, always go 100% full speed when you're pushing. Rotate frequently and uh, it's a lot of fun. If you have more questions about anything... Yeah, obviously, obviously have your car in neutral. Uh, if you have more questions about pushing the prowler or uh, pushing the car or anaerobic type conditioning like this or interval training, uh, you can always go to barbellshrug.com, click the Ask a Question tab at the top of the page, and we can uh, do a technique wad about it in the future.